It's back to school for students in Broward County, at least virtually. Classes for the time being are remote due to the coronavirus pandemic. And that comes with its own very special set of challenges. CBS 4's Joe Murray joins us with a look at how the first day went. There's no locker slamming. Hallways are empty. Broward Public Schools are back, but with the pandemic, the only learning is in front of a computer. I can still see my friends, but I'd rather be at school. Nine-year-old Carly Landberg can ask her fourth grade teacher a question by pushing a button. In another room of her Davy home, her mother, who's a computer teacher, is giving lessons online. I wish I could say we'd go back next week, but I don't know, and I definitely think that, you know, the safety of the teachers and the students come first. Broward Public School teachers had the option of teaching from home or school. Fourth grade teacher Julia Williams chose her classroom. So a lot of navigation today. And a lot of technical challenges. Some Broward Public School students reported class delays because of trouble with Canvas, the virtual learning program. The superintendent blames it partly on tech savvy, partly on volume. One way to kind of look at it, you know, is I got like 100 people trying to get through the door at the same time. Like I can only get so many and we've 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 like addressed that. We're just going to have a bigger door tomorrow. Does anybody know what rendezvous means? Carl Springs Charter School teacher Michael here. Singer is part motivator, all educator. So as he virtually Camila. teaches seniors AP government and economics, oh, students nice. must wear their uniforms and work from a desk. I call my students now the greatest generation. If they can pull this off, then what can't they do? Hi guys, I miss you so much. Principal Gary Springer said over 90% of his teachers returned to the classroom. Now we need to be not just good, we need to be great. While some Broward charter schools had intended to offer in-person learning, it is mostly online for now. I do see it happening before the end of the year for sure. Um, and I do see um, at a minimum, though, uh, families having choice with regards to how it happens. The Tripoto family of Cooper City is all about choice. Scarlett has transferred from public school to St. David Catholic School, also totally online. Her brother is in a fourth grade charter school. And I know for my son's school, they'll learn a particular um, math skill and then they launch an app to practice it. Parent Kim Tripoto is making it work for now. But we're going to keep fighting to get our kids back in school. Um, it's important that, that kids are, are learning in, in a classroom. So charter schools and all public schools doing online learning only will be evaluating the COVID situation in the coming weeks and months before making a determination whether there will be any return to in-person learning before the end of the year. In Coral Springs, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.